Joined now by a prospect of the Los Angeles Kings. Hey, that's got to sound pretty good. Colin Zemer of the Prince George Cougars. First of all, Colin, congratulations. Uh, hey, let's circle back to uh, to the NHL draft in Nashville. Uh, you hear your name called by the LA Kings. Take me through the moment and and just, uh, you know, what it meant for you and for your family and for those close of you uh, to be selected by the Kings. Yeah, obviously it was a pretty cool experience there in Nashville. I think a uh, uh, pretty pl- good place to have the draft. It was warm there, so it's perfect. But uh, yeah, I had a, a bunch of family members there and uh, a couple of friends. So uh, hearing my name called by LA in, in the draft being there, it was pretty cool. It's uh, obviously a surreal feeling and uh, by such a great organization and cool place to be. You are, by our count, the first WHL player drafted by the Kings in six years. Uh, were, was that a team that, you know, you kind of had an inkling that they might be kind of more than interested in you kind of in the lead up to the draft? Yeah. Leading up to the draft, I think uh, we had, we had some good talks with, with LA. So uh, I was in, in the back of my mind. That's, it's really where I wanted to be. And uh, I think it was a good fit for me there. So I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to be there. Has it been a bit of a whirlwind for you, Cohen? I know uh, right after the draft, you know, you made your way to California to take part in development camp. Uh, have you kind of had a chance to soak it all in or has it just been go, go, go for you since, uh, since draft day? Yeah, it was pretty go, go, go for a little bit there, but uh, I think it's finally trying to kind of soaking in now and uh, it's a reality. I think uh, all the work really starts now. What did it mean for you and for your teammate Riley Height to hear your names called together on the same day? And, you know, you look at uh, your organization in the WHL, the Prince George Cougars, uh, pretty proud moment for, for that club too. But how cool was it to share you know, that draft day experience with Riley? Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, we've we've played together the last three years now, and we've got uh, really good chemistry on and off the ice. I think uh, we're really close off the ice as well. So to, to to go through that with him, we were actually sitting pretty close to each other uh, during the draft. So uh, I got to say congratulations to him before he before he got his names called. So uh, yeah, it was a good experience to go through that with him. Take me through development camp down in California. What were some of the things that that you guys focused on, and and, and how nice was it to get a taste of the Kings organization so quickly after being drafted. Yeah, it was a really cool experience. I think uh, you go, go there looking at other guys that have been through the process and uh, kind of just soaking it in, in their, uh, in there, but uh, you know, they, they work on the basic stuff and like, you got to be able to do the basic stuff to, to be a good player. So uh, there's a lot of that, a couple of scrimmages, but yeah, it was, it was a pretty good place. And uh, obviously California and LA is a, is a pretty cool place to be. You look at your head coach in Prince George, Mark Lamb, a guy who, you know, won Stanley Cups, had a long pro career. Have you kind of had the opportunity to have conversations about him, just, you know, about about the little things it takes to to kind of get to that next level? And if so, what are some of the things that that Mark has passed along to you? Yeah, we've we've talked a little bit about it in, in his career and how uh how he did things when he was uh playing in the NHL. And I think just having him and, and him being able to teach us what 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 to go through and uh, what to expect from NHL teams is is a big thing. But I think uh, the biggest thing is, is just soaking in what he says because he he knows what he's talking to. He's been been through it before, so uh, he's just trying to help us as much as he can. Let's talk about your season this past year in Prince George. You guys made a big step uh, reaching the second round of the playoffs, and uh, we all saw the fans. We all saw the craziness. Uh, in Prince George, uh, you know, during that series against Tri Cities, especially, but you know, do do you guys feel like you you took a big step as an organization? And if so, you know, how big of that in terms of momentum is there as you kind of look ahead now to next season? Yeah, I think last year is just a, a big step in the right direction. I think uh, you look at the year before we had an unfortunate series against Portland, and uh, it, it left a bad taste in our mouth. And uh, I think leading up to playoffs and extra. Uh, really, really helped us toward Tri City, uh, Tri City series, and then obviously Seattle was the same as Portland, pretty much. And uh, you know, we we leave, we leave that series with a bad taste in our mouth as well. So I think uh, just momentum going into this year, we should have a good team again. So uh, I'm really excited to get back. In terms of your preparation now, as we speak right now, Colin, it's mid July, but we're looking, you know, getting ever closer to the start of the new season. Does your preparation change at all, knowing that you've got an NHL camp on the horizon? If so, uh, how how are you kind of changing your approach, and and what are you getting getting after this summer in terms of you know getting faster, stronger, quicker? Yeah, just like you said, I think uh, everyone's trying to get bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, obviously, the next step up is is guys that are bigger, faster, stronger. And, uh, they've had experience in the league, and uh, they know what they're doing, and they know what to expect from each other every day. So I think just uh, my summer is being around those guys and being able to soak in what they do and. 
uh, just just compare myself to them and 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 see what I got to work on to become one of them. Lastly, have you had a bit of a chance, or are you going to have a bit of a chance this summer to be a bit of an outdoorsman? I know that's a big part of kind of what you like to do and kind of get away from the rink. Uh, you know what what else does Colin have up his sleeve here over the next six weeks here before we get back to camp? Yeah, usually I get the the weekends off from or Saturday Sunday off from uh, from training and hockey. I got no skates, so yeah, I usually get out a little bit of fishing and get on the boat and and a weekend away is is always good. So I think uh, the hockey part comes first, but a couple of days off is is used for those.